So composition might uh, make a little more sense if we look at an example. So in this example, it says the function C of S gives the number of calories burned to completing S sit-ups. So this part right here says, you tell me how many sit-ups. You want to do 10 sit-ups? I'll tell you how many calories you're going to burn. That's what that function does, the C function. It says S of T gives the number of sit-ups a person can complete in T minutes. Okay, so now I'm saying minutes. I'm going to give you five minutes, and we'll see how many sit-ups you can do based on this function S. So now they want us to interpret what does that mean, C of S of 3. This is a composition. Well, the S of 3... S of 3, that's saying how many sit-ups can be done in 3 minutes, right? That's just that part. So what does C of S of 3 mean? This gives you the number of sit-ups, right? Number of sit-ups. And then C tells you, if you tell me the number of sit-ups, I'll tell you how many calories you burn. So this is saying then, how many calories burned in three minutes? Okay. I mean, you could say it's how many calories burned based on the number of sit-ups done in three minutes. But it's really the overall statement is saying, okay, you've got three minutes. This S function tells you how many sit-ups that, that you're going to be able to do. And then C, that function, tells you how many calories you burn doing that many sit-ups in the three minutes. Well, I'm talking, it might be more uh, explained in the book. I mean, you can read the book and see if that explains it better. Hopefully you get the idea. So you could take a little break now and time yourself for three minutes, see how many sit-ups you can do. And then you'd have to find some formula to tell you how many calories that burned. But, but that's the idea.